Good evening, everybody. Let's tip things off with boys high school basketball. It's Kirksville hosting Father Tolton. The young Fred Becks and Ryan Ronins were on hand. They saw Father Tolton score on the opening tip. Josh Boyer, who will play for Truman State, does the damage. Kirksville's Chance Edwards goes baseline, and he won't be denied. The capacity crowd wanted to see Michael Porter rattle the rim, and he doesn't disappoint. Dallin Vorkink uses his left hand in the lane. Nice move. Let's check out Porter, who runs the floor like a point guard. The Tigers would answer with Brooks Templeton. He misses, but he stays with it for the basket. Good effort tonight by Kirksville, but Father Tolton would win it by 10, 68 to 58. The Davis County Mustangs hosted the Albia Blue Demons in a South Central rematch. Matt Baker dropped 25 in the last meeting. Clay Roberts, though, gets the scoring started as he cleans the glass and puts in the easy layup. Then Matt Baker scores the first seven points for Albia. That won a three. Albia leads by three. Jacob Jones does the same as he pulls up for three. Mustangs down 13 to 10. And before the end of the first quarter, Cameron Stocker hits a runner in the lane and they count the bucket. Baker had 25 again, but Davis County gets the win 60 to 57. The Mustang girls were trying to complete the sweep against the Lady D's. Six point game at halftime, but then Kate Burkmeyer puts the Mustangs up 10 with her layup in the paint, 29 to 19 Davis County. Then off an inbounds, Cammie Guider caps the 12-0 run with her three-pointer. Mustangs up 20. Lady D's Sarah Clark ends that run with a three of her own. That pulls Albia within 17. Later, a loose ball finds the shortest player on the court, and Michelle Allen puts it in for two. Kate Burkmeyer would be too much. She finished with 20 points, and the Mustangs win 57-34. Class 1 number 6 no Novinger opened their four-game road trip tonight against rival La Plata. Trey Burnell goes up, but Hadley Roberts comes in with and cleans up the mess here as he gets two points for Novinger. The Bulldogs came out hot as Ben Bolden knocks down the open three. La Plata led by as many as 10 in the first quarter. Seth Brown looking like it's the finish line because nobody's in front of him, so he knocks down the three. Cats can shoot it too as Mikey Ortega lets it fly from pretty much Atlanta. He knocks it down. Mikey out running again on the break. He drops it off for Roberts who knocks it down as he goes down. But Novinger didn't as they went on to win 74-70. On the girls' side, it was a matchup of Novinger's size and they'll play this guard play. This rivalry is always hot and the crowd was out to support their dogs tonight. Allie Gregory loses a loose ball, but it goes right to Kaylee Lean who takes two dribbles and knocks down the J. Gregory in the middle of the action again, except this time she finds a loose ball and finishes herself. Ha Haley Rogers lets it fly and beats the third quarter buzzer. Novinger had some momentum as they got within single digits. But Lean remembered to pack her American Express card and her travel miles helped La Plata claim a 43-33 victory. Other Missouri boys action saw Atlanta buzz past Marion County 74-31. Green City beat Brashear 75-47. Scotland doubled up Skyler 70-35. On the girls' side, Scotland got 14 and 15 from Chelsea Wood to beat Skyler 39-27. Green City topped Brashear 54-24, and Atlanta stung Marion 47-28. Taking a look at other action tonight in girls, Otomo Falls to Des Moines Hoover 41-37. Knoxville tops EBF 54-39. Notre Dame beats Van Buren 88-22. Otomo Falls to Hoover 68-34 in boys. Pekin loses to Minneapolis 42-35, and Notre Dame beats Van Buren 70-54. In college basketball, the Truman State women hit the road Thursday to face Drury. The teams met in the NCAA tournament last year, and the Bulldogs lost by six in overtime. Once again, the key to a Bulldog win will be how they handle the pressure. I think a big thing for us is we're going to have to be able to take care of the ball. They press for 40 minutes a lot of times, um, and so we're going to have to be able to handle some pressure, and, and we've kind of struggled with that the last two games. In high school wrestling, Kirksville beat Centerville 42-18, but they lost to Fort Madison 52-24. Jared J.Q. went 2-0. Hamlin, Sparks, and Davis all split their matches, while Easley, Kriegshauser, and Miranda all had pins.